In this video, I want to create a camera inside of 3ds Max to control the exposure settings from the daylight system we created in, in an earlier tutorial. So what I have here is the top view shown here in the bottom left hand corner. I can go Alt W to bring it up. And I'm going to navigate over here to the menu palette. And on the first tab, navigate to the middle and select the camera. Hit physical camera and simply point and shoot. So I'll choose this location and just drag it out to where you want it to be. And just hit escape to finish that command. And I'm gonna hit Alt W and right click on any one of the windows and hit C to bring out that camera view. If you've got more than one camera, it will prompt you to select the camera you want. So in my bottom left hand view here, I can now move this camera around and start to see what I'm going to be doing the render of. So pick a location that you're happy with. You can also select the camera target and move that around as needed. And we can even go to the view here and move it up. I'm just going to turn off my snap and move it up to grab the screenshot that you're most interested in. Now going back and actually selecting that camera we're going to go back to the palette over here and go to modify and look at some of the properties of that camera. So this one here has the uh, film width set at 40. You can start to adjust this and you'll see this adjust inside of the viewport. I prefer to work with a focal length of 18. Some of you may prefer 28 which is more like human eye width. 18 will typically bring in a lot more of the picture. If we navigate down a little bit here, you've got some exposure controls. And this is where you're gonna be able to control how much light gets let into that camera. So we have a, an f-stop up here, just leave that at eight for now, and go down to the exposure control, and you can see it's set to six. So if we go to our rendering engine to see how this is gonna look, you're gonna to go to the teapot, and by default, mine is set to uh, ART render, art render. If you need to get to this, just yours may be set to default mental ray or scan line. Just click on ART render and don't worry about any of the other settings right now. Just hit render and you're going to see a glimpse of these shadows, but it's really exposed. So this is because the camera exposure was set to six and it's an, uh, it's an outdoor render with a lot of light there. So what we're going to do is drop that target exposure. And by dropping it, I mean uh, adjusting it to say 14 or even 16 to let in less light. You'll see here inside of the view, it's also adjusted. And if we go to the display here and change it from standard to high quality, you'll see the start to adjust as well. So if I take that down to say 12, it's letting in more light, 16, is one that's geared up a bit more for daylight settings. So if we re-render again, we're now gonna see something that's a bit more promising. So that's the quick setup for the camera, how to manipulate it around and adjust the exposure to get a quick render out. 